Hello children, we are on the second part of lesson 2 that is respiratory system. All living beings need air to breathe. The process of breathing is called respiration and is controlled by a system called respiratory system. Please underline this one. The process of breathing is called respiration and it is controlled by a system called respiratory system. It helps us to breathe in air called inhalation and breathe out waste air is called exhalation. The organs involved in this process are nose, windpipe, lungs. You can see the picture over here. Nose, this is mouth, this is windpipe, this is lungs, these are the two lungs. Let us come to the organ associated with the system and its function. Your first organ is the nose. The nose through which we breathe in air is the nose. You can see. The process of breathing in air to absorb oxygen is called inhalation. And the process of breathing out carbon dioxide we call it as an exhalation. Basically breathing has two processes. That is inhalation and exhalation which together completes the process of respiration. The openings in the nose are called nostrils. We are having two nostrils. There are fine hairs in our nose which do not allow the dust, particles and germs to enter the respiratory system and makes the air clean and safe to breathe. Coming to the next part that is windpipe. The air we breathe through our nose passes through a passage to reach the lungs. You can see these are the passage through which it passes to the lungs. The windpipe is also known as trachea. This windpipe is also known as trachea. The windpipe divides into two tubes and enter to the lungs. Here you can see it divides into two tubes and enter to the lungs. Next coming the lungs. The lungs are the sponge like organs located inside the chest cavity. They are present in a pair one on each side of the cavity. The right lung is slightly bigger in size than the left lung. Right lung is slightly bigger than the left one. Then coming to the process of breathing. Let us see the process of breathing. Two diagrams are there. This is the process of inhalation and this is the process of exhalation. The breathing involves two processes that is inhalation and exhalation. When we breathe in air, it enters through our nose and goes down our windpipe. It then passes down to the two tubes and fills into the lungs. When we breathe in Air passes to the lungs with the two tubes. Our lungs expand when we breathe in and it is known as inhalation process. In lungs, the oxygen gets absorbed by the blood and it carries the oxygen to all parts of the body. Then the body produces carbon dioxide as a waste product which mixes with the blood and is removed from the body with the air when we breathe out. It is called an exhalation process and chest contracts. Just beneath the lung is a diaphragm which is a muscular organ. It helps in the process of inhalation and exhalation. You can see here in the process of inhalation the diaphragm contracts and in process of exhalation the diaphragm relaxes. With this activity, you can understand more properly the function, how it works. But for this, you need certain thing. What are the materials needed? Let us see. Aim is to observe how our lungs expand during inhalation and contract during exhalation. Materials needed an empty plastic bottle with cork, one large balloon, Two small balloon, two drinking straw, scissors, string, rubber bands and tape. With the help of your adults, you can do this for your own knowledge. But right now, as during the lockdown, you may not get all the things available. So let us see the procedure. Cut the bottom of the plastic bottle using scissor. Take the help of an elder. Make a Y-shaped straw with the help of both the drinking straws. Make a small hole in the lid of a plastic bottle and insert Y-shaped 
straw and fix it tightly using tape. Fix two small balloons using rubber bands at the opening of the Y-shaped straw. Take the larger balloon and tie a knot. You can see over here at its mouth and then cut it horizontally. Fix the half cut balloon over the wide bottom of the bottle. Tighten it with a large rubber band. This acts as a diaphragm of the lungs. You can see these two models. Tie a string at the knot of the half cut balloon. Gently pull down the string and then release it. It will work as our diaphragm does. It will relax and it will contract. Observe what happens of the two balloon when you pull down or release the string. Observation on pulling down the string, the two balloon expand as air flows into them and when the string is released, the balloon contract as the air within the balloon is expelled. You can see here. One is when pulling, the it expands and air flows inside and the other one while releasing, it contracts. Exactly like our lungs perform. Then coming to the conclusion the process of breathing is similar to the activity performed above. The balloons inside the bottle are like our lungs. Exactly it performs as I have already said. It performs the function of lungs. The bottle is like our chest wall and the rib gauge. Horizontally cut the balloon is like a diaphragm. Our diaphragm during in inhalation the diaphragm moves upward and the air from the lungs is thrown out similar thing happens when we release the string down you can see here at the side when we release the string it uh, it contracts